What's up guys, welcome to the first uh, FIFA 20 video with regard to the trading series that I'm about to do uh, so I'm gonna be doing trading videos on the Xbox market mainly uh, and we are going to be talking today about four key dates uh, that are coming up that we need we have about four days left for FIFA 20 and there are four key dates that we need to know so first up we have the 18th which is the day the web app is out uh, we have the web app out on the 18th and then the following day we have e-access uh, 24th is the pre-order and 27th we have the full release of the game uh, key things to note is when you get the web app uh, it'll be even playing field so there won't be any uh, what I would say, there won't be anyone who can use FIFA points because uh, you can't open as far as I know you can't get FIFA, you can't transfer FIFA points from the console to the web app on the 18th so that means there is going to be an even playing field for everyone uh, so use this time wisely, you have one day basically to try and trade as much as possible few things I would tell you would be you get a couple of welcome backpacks I think on the web app as well get uh so make sure you open those uh welcome backpacks and sell everything don't don't quick sell stuff uh sell list everything up i don't know how much space in terms of transfer list you might get only 30 items because this time there is rumors that there's not going to be any catalog which means you can't unlock uh things from the catalog as you used to do in like previous fifas so which means they're going to have like a season pass and there's going to be objectives in that so you're going to most likely will have to unlock your transfer space as well uh through the objectives i am not sure on that but just in case anyways uh i would sell everything don't quick sell any players list them all because even the 200 coins that you can get from just listing for mean buy now is still better than quick selling for like 18 or 19 coins uh for just any like normal card uh apart from that in terms of listing stuff i would the only exceptions that i wouldn't list on the day first day of the web app would be maybe hunters shadows uh or even really if you, by some luck you manage to pack like an insanely good player i wouldn't sell them on the first day i might keep them uh mainly because you have to understand with everyone starting on a level playing field no one has the coins to buy really expensive players or really expensive consumables immediately if you want to sell a hunter or shadow try and sell it more than 3k coins definitely don't try and list it too low uh, because they are going to be way more expensive when the game is fully out okay so that's uh some things we to do on the web app uh, also a few other things i would say is make uh, a list of players that you want to look into uh, and cycle through them don't just stick to one player and try and trade and get i have like more info on the web app we'll do like a in-depth video as well separately uh i might release it tomorrow maybe we will see uh i've taken down some notes as well looking at all my notes mm. all right yeah so and the final thing on the web app for the 18th i would say when you make coins set your set a goal for yourself for that day uh i don't know how much 30 40k maybe set a goal uh but don't invest in players and keep them for the next day try and sell everyone uh by the time you're finished on that day itself don't keep them over for the 19th because on the 19th when EXS comes a lot of people are going to get on the game and everyone's going people who have want to spend fifa points are going to spend fifa points on that day so that means they are going to there's going to be a dip in prices uh, for players so make sure that you've already sold your players on the 18th and then on the 19th when everyone's opening packs i would recommend trying and buying a few players on the 19th because there's going to be a dip there in terms of prices and then the players will go up in price so there's going to be a few key areas where you buy and you have to make sure you sell before uh, and all those these key areas would be you have to make sure you sell before the day of like before the release of EA Access, before the pre-order release and also before the full game release because there will be dips on those days when the game is released for more and more people 
All right, so moving on to EA access, you have to make sure you have only 10 hours of EA access. Also, the companion app you can update it to FIFA 20 from FIFA 19. So, I would say if you have if you're going to spend FIFA points and you're maybe not going to spend as much FIFA points if you're spending 12k FIFA points, I would try to open them on the companion app instead. Uh, instead of console, I would recommend even if you're not spending FIFA. If you're not spending FIFA points, open all your packs on uh, Companion app because you have only 10 hours and you want to make use of those 10 hours as much as you can by playing games. You want to try and get into the high ranks of division rivals, higher ranks of squad battles because all those high ranks are going to give you better rewards and you're going to have you're going to put yourself at a much more higher uh, chance of starting, especially if you're on a road to glory. You don't want to be spending your 10 hours opening packs or doing SBCs on EA Access, okay? Uh, so make sure you try and play as many games as you can. Again, as like I said, there might there might not be a catalog this time, uh, so which means there's gonna be a season pass objectives. If there are objectives for you to do and get high rated loan cards because there's no catalog this time, try and get them done, I think, if it doesn't take too long and use those in your Div Driver games so that you get uh, if you can get it before your placement, I don't know how the placement is going to work, how div driver placements. Uh, try and use those cards in your div driver placement games if you can get those loan cards before playing div driver placement. Because if you can win as many games in your five placement matches, you can rank higher and that means better rewards. So make sure you use those 10 hours of VA access for mainly playing matches and any trading and all, you can do it on the companion app, okay? uh what else with regard to trading companion app also bronze pack method you can do bronze pack method it's a viable option i would suggest maybe doing a bit of bronze pack don't go too much into bronze pack method if you have like ten thousand coins don't spend all ten thousand on bronze pack method because it's going to take a long time for you to be able to recover all that money you will make profit but it'll take a long time to recover all that money there'll be faster ways to make money by just buy, uh, trying and sniping gold cards, certain gold cards that you would like to look at, and uh, by flipping them, you'll make a much more faster. You'll be using your time way better. So that's one thing I would say. Also, I think the first team of the week will be out on EA Access Day, which and that team of the week is most likely going to is by definitely going to be the most rare team of the week possible, mainly because it's not been packed a lot compared to say the full release of the game so and these cards i would do i'll do a predictor video uh, if you guys haven't checked on twitter i am going to be doing an aggregate team of the week predictor based off some of the team of the main team of the week predictors so i will do a video on that as well as to what team of the week we are going to be looking at and maybe what cards we should try and get you can team of the disc Discard team of the weeks are uh, some of the best ways to make profit. Uh, also, trying to get gold cards, uh, you won't be able to do it for the team of the week one. You could possibly do it on the web app by like gold cards that you think are going to get into team of the week one. Uh, but I would rather try and get maybe some discard ones uh, for those who are going to be spending a lot of few points and will get a lot of coin total i would recommend trying to get some of the more meta cards because they will definitely rise in price because when the first weekend league comes people are going to want that card okay so use that opportunity it's going to be very rare cards on the market uh especially on xbox it'll be even more rare compared to playstation so try and get those cards we will go through that in a separate video for you guys uh so that's what mainly i would do on EXS. any transfers Sorry, pack openings, SBCs, trading, do it all on the companion app. Use your 10 hours for playing games. Uh, squad battles, division rivals. Just try and play games and get uh, higher ranks to get better rewards. Next up, we have the pre-order date, which is the 24th. Okay, like I said previously, if you have any gold cards that you want to sell, Make sure you sell them on the night of the 23rd or not even night before the night of the 23rd 
because sometimes EA might release, they might say 24th release, but sometimes you get the game on the 23rd night. So it comes out like a bit more earlier sometimes. So make sure you've got rid of all your cards by then. Because what's going to happen is when everyone gets the game, again, like I said, more FIFA points are going to be spent, more packs are going to be opened, and player prices are going to go down for a short while before they go back up. So there's another time where you can buy. So make sure you are liquid to be able to buy these cards. When you buy these cards, you can, you will be able to, maybe I would like try and stack your club with like a set of players that you're looking at. And then once the lighting rounds are over, people will start making teams and then the prices of cards are going to go up. Okay. So make sure you've got rid of all players before the 23rd. Uh, sorry, before 23rd, let's say afternoon, uh, so that you're liquid when it comes to the 24th to be able to buy players when there's like a slight dip when lightning runs on. Up next, uh, on the 24th, oh yeah, once to watch us and I think player of the month might be out or player of the month might also be out a bit earlier. I have no idea. It depends on how EA is going to do, but once to watch will also most likely be out on the pre-order date sometimes maybe. Or even the 27th full release. Let's see. Uh, when's the 24th? Oh, okay. Yeah, the 24th is Tuesday. So, once to watch won't be out on that day. Once to watch will most likely be out on Friday. So, which is the full release game. Uh, so, during the time when there's lightning rounds, maybe looking to try and get in a few cards that are predicted to get into once to watch because they will go up in price because people will want to try and make starter squads of them. And they won't, because their gold cards are not going to be in packs for like two weeks at least, they're definitely going to rise in price. But don't try and get, jump on the bandwagon with ones to watch us. Like, if so many people want to jump and get Joa Felix, you also don't go and like try and get Joa Felix. Because last time this happened in Maris, everyone wanted to try and get Maris gold card. And when Maris ones to watch came out, Maris gold card just dipped. You can check food being graphs if that's what happened so make sure you get you spread your options don't go all into one player just make sure you spread your options uh yeah what else i i will also do like a predictor video maybe on once to watch when it gets closer to that date and we'll try and go and see maybe what players are good to get in uh and we'll also have like a better idea in terms of prices uh, by then hopefully hmm and the final thing is the 27th, which is the full game release and everyone's on the game. Again, there will be a dip in prices on the day of release before they finally go up. And then after that, prices are just going to keep going up. Okay, there, is no, there isn't going to be much of a dip. It's just going to keep going up and up and up. So make sure that you guys set a goal for yourselves. Like, I'm going to make X amount of money, uh, X amount of coins on the web app day, X amount by the time EX is done. X amount by the time the pre-order date is done and just before full release. Uh, and also, what we are going to do in terms of trading videos is I'm not going to tell you go and buy this, 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 and this player. I'm going to try and help to teach you guys into like, okay, why we should get certain type of players because of how the market is and like why they would rise so that you guys end up learning more uh instead of being spoon fed uh and i think that will make you guys better traders and will also you guys will learn to appreciate uh trading a bit more so anyway i am mainly going to be on i'm going to be on the xbox market but i will also give ps uh will, will be able to help on the ps guys side as well with terms of prices but i'm mainly going to be focused on the xbox market so this is the end of the video uh the first video i'm doing so it's going to be a bit uh lengthy i have to try and get my points across uh i think i'll be getting better at it the more i do it uh but yeah hit hit the like button if you guys enjoyed it and do drop in the comments what you guys think about it uh how you guys are going to approach uh the upcoming uh fifa 20 with regards to trading and if you're spending fifa points how many do you plan on spending and do you plan on spending on the first day of the access or do you plan on keeping some for like later as well um, so that's the end of the video and I'll see you guys later.